Hi, welcome to the Artsy Base Show. I think I was a bit more like Mark, but I think I'm actually like Jazz. So anyway, it was great to hear you play, and while I was listening, I just wondered, um, where were you when Steve Irwin died? I don't remember, because I actually don't give a fuck about Steve Irwin. <laughs> I vaguely remember that that happened but it did not have an impact on me at all. I'm really surprised to hear that. Yeah, also I really like Stingrays, and also, like, Steve Irwin kind of like... I Since I formed this opinion, I actually heard that he did give loads of money to, like, animal charities and stuff. But also he just, like, bothered, like, crocodiles. That was his job, was bothering. Leave the crocodiles alone. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nature strikes back. I recently found out that the outback is actually quite big. Did you know that? I didn't necessarily even know that the Outback was like really a specific place or more like I thought it was maybe more of like an idea, you know? <laughs> that, yeah, like the Outback. That... <laughs> nah, it's fine. Okay. That, yeah, that's fine um, because that made me wonder what did you do for the millennium? The millennium? Uh, I wore a uh, leopard print fluffy hat, it was like a full fur fluffy hat um, and a purple puffy jacket and uh, it was sick, yeah. Gigs or? Uh... The millennium. Well I had just turned, no, I was going to turn six. I was at the millennium party in Campbelltown. Yeah, pretty sick. Don't really remember much about it. Where's Campbelltown? It's Right at the bottom of the peninsula, just off the west coast of Scotland. That's great. And if you were at Subway, what would you eat? Uh, I'm vegan, so I don't think there is anything I can eat. I could probably have like a juice. One time I tried to go into a Subway and get a cup of tea and they said they didn't do tea, but there was a big box of tea bags in a machine. So, <laughs> Do people usually hate you? Uh, not always. But sometimes, I don't know, maybe I give off bad vibes. I glare at like, I was thinking about this today when I'm like walking along the street, I like actively walk, <laughs> walk towards like into like tall white men in suits. Like I actively walk into them and like stare into their eyes, like deep into their eyes. And uh, usually they move out of the way. I'm just like trying to teach them a lesson about how they don't own the payment. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Great. And um, if you did have a George Foreman, what would you use it for? Because you're vegan. I don't know why a George Foreman would be useful for you. You can still melt some vegan cheeses. Some vegan cheeses melt better than others. That's the thing. I had asparagus for dinner. <laughs> and it, 
it wasn't that good. So James Gage, the producer, has just told us he likes to cook asparagus on a George Foreman. That's, outra that's outrageous. Okay. I feel like a toasty maker though. That'd be good. Doesn't necessarily need to be a full-on George Foreman, you know. Just a, just a wee cheap one, that'd be good. And uh, what size are your feet for all the fans out there? Six. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is a song. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the Artsy Vice Show. Are we, are we going? Hi there guys. <laughs> um, I have some questions for this band called The Split School. Um, let's ask some questions. What is the pettiest hill you're willing to die on? Uh, <laughs> um, not being able to wear uh, odd socks at work. I'll, I'll fight that till the very end. Odd socks for life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so was someone else. So, I thought you meant a literal hill. Um, okay, I'll say a Demaya. It's a hill, right? That's a hill. It's near Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say that too. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'll go up to my own nine. <laughs> we'll both die. <laughs> <laughs> Question two. What classes would you take at the speak school? Um, public speaking. <laughs> Ghost hunting. Uh, how to fix the car. <laughs>
Question three. Would you rather meet an alien or a ghost? Alien. That'd be way cooler. Alien. <laughs> Is that a ghost of a person I know? Or... I'll go for a ghost then. <laughs> alien. <laughs> Question other one. Please, can you give us a hot take on an issue of your choice? Green screens aren't as big as you think they're going to be. <laughs> and I think that maybe when you buy them, they should better label how large it is in terms of, you know, how many Niles you could fit on the green screen. Um, my hot take is that Niles' red t-shirt looks really good with his red trousers <laughs> and that he should have just really committed to it. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Oh, well, Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone looks nice today. <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> Can you tell us some stuff about the new album? Um, there's a lot of public speaking on it. Um, it's. There is a little bit of public speaking, I don't lie. I might skirt around the truth sometimes, but there's no lies out of this space. Uh, <laughs> yeah, new album, I've got new songs on it, and but about the same kind of stuff, but a little bit different. It's called Could It Be Different? Um, it's about regrets. <laughs> um, very good. <laughs> That's it, maybe. Thanks for watching. Everybody wave. Wave.
Shave parts of my